Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a dive ball surprise fold, and inside of it, I'm going to have Gyarados. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our dive ball surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm gonna start by taking my paper and folding it in half like a birthday card. So all we wanna do is just line up the corners and then give it a nice little fold. Then we're gonna take this and fold it one more time. And when you do this, you kinda of have like a big bookmark shape. Now, when I open this up, I have three little lines, and these work as nice little guidelines where I know to keep the inside of my surprise fold picture. Now to start off with our dive ball, I want to trace something circular. I'm going to use this small paint palette and I'm going to place this right in the middle of my paper. Next, I'm just going to begin by drawing half of a circle on top. Then I'm going to just make half a circle on the bottom. Now you can do it freehand, but I just like to trace something circular to make a nice little circle shape. Now once I have this, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to draw the little button in the middle. So to do this, let's start by making a smiley face, or sad face, on top, and then a smiley face on the bottom here. Now right here, let's draw a line that comes all the way to the circle, but we're going to stop before we get to there. We'll do the same thing here. Next, let's go ahead and make another sad face above here. We'll do that same thing here. We'll draw a line right to the circle on each side. Then I'll just make a little smiley face right around here. Now this one is going to be a dive ball, so it's going to be a little bit different from the regular Pokeball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, and let's draw a line that's going to go down. Then we'll come up right here to the circle. Same thing over here. Let's go down. Then we'll come up and over. Now starting here at the top, let's go ahead and make kind of like half an oval or half a circle shape right at the top. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. We're going to go up, we're going to come down, and then go back up again, and we're going to continue this right here. Go down and up. We'll go down and then up here, just to kind of create the little water lines. Now that we have our dive ball drawn, we can open this up and add all the details on the inside. Now when we open this up, we have two halves of our dive ball. We have the top and the bottom. The first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and draw a little line down on each one of these. So right where all those curves are, we're going to draw a line down. Then we're just going to draw a line that comes straight across here. We'll do the same thing down here. Let's draw lines that come up. Then we'll just go ahead and draw a line straight across. That way we have a little bit of extra room. Now dive balls are used to catch water Pokemon, so I thought it'd be fun to do Gyarados in here. So to start off with Gyarados, let's begin with the face. I'm going to begin right here, and right where this fold is, I'm going to use this as a guideline. So let's start here by drawing a line that's going to come down, and then we're going to go back up in like a V-shape. We'll make a little curve at the end and we'll bring it down. Do the same thing up here, a little curve and bring it down. Kind of looks like a boomerang shape. Right here, I'm going to bring this up and we'll come right back down. Kind of looks like a little chicken foot. Then we'll add a little curve right here. So 
Starting here, let's draw a line that's going to go out and we'll come up for an eye. And we'll do that same thing over here. We're gonna go out and bring it up for the eye. We'll draw a little line on each side with a small little line for the pupil. We're gonna use the curve of this right here and we're just gonna draw the line's going to go up and down, and then up and down again for the nose. Make it a little farther. For the top of the mouth, we're going to go up, we're going to go over, and then up and then down. And right inside the nose, let's make two little marks in here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes in and down. Same thing here. Now we're going to make lines going to come over and connect up to here. Now we're going to draw that same shape right inside of here. And we're just going to kind of basically make the same shape for the mouth. So we'll just go down. We'll come over and we'll bring this up. Just kind of like a smaller version of the outside and that just forms the lips. Now to make the teeth, let's go down and then bring our line up. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to go down and then up. Do that here too at the bottom. Up and down, up and down with a little bit of a point. For the tongue, we're going to come up and down, and then up and down again. And then we'll make a smaller version of that shape back here. Right by the eyes, let's make a little curve shape underneath each one. For the side of the face, let's bring this line out and then come down. And we'll do that same thing over here. We're gonna go out and then down. We'll bring this down with a curve and same thing here, bring this down with a curve. We'll come out and down again on each side. Next, we're gonna bring this in and kind of curve it right towards the mouth. So bring this in and go right towards the mouth. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up here for the top of the head. And same thing here, we're just going to bring this up and then over. Now, Gyarados has these little fins that come out of the side. So to draw this, let's make a long line that's going to go out, down, and then we're going to bring it back. We'll do that same thing over here. We're going to go out, down, and bring it back. Right here, let's go down. We're going to come in, down, and then back in. Same thing here. We're going to go in and down, down, and then in, and bring it over here. Then we'll add a little line right here on each side. Now, starting here, let's make the whiskers of Gyarados. Let's draw a line that's going to go down and up. I'm going to do the same thing here. We're just going to go down and up. Then we'll just bring this right back, making that same shape, kind of like a long, skinny line. So we'll just make that same shape for the little whiskers. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come right up here to the spike. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's go up and bring it right to the spike. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to stop right there. And then I'll bring this one up and take it right to here. 
I'm going to add his spike here. So let's draw a line that comes down. We'll make a line that goes up and down. We'll make this one come up and down. And then one more small one that goes up and down here. I'll make another line that's going to come up. And we're going to go right to here. And we'll make that other spike. So let's go up and down. Up and down a little higher. And then one more here. We'll make a little line that comes down. And we're going to draw a little curve line here for part of the body. And one more that's going to go here. Then we'll draw a line here and a line here. We'll add a curved line here and a curved line here. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Gyarados surprise fold in a dive ball. So when you have this all folded up, you have just a simple little dive ball. And then when you open it, you have Gyarados popping out. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.